Uh, this week on the third chair, we have Christy Lorenzen, artist, uh, a previous special education uh, educator and school administrator. Uh, she's got some fascinating artwork, and I'm looking forward to seeing it. I'm looking forward to talking to her about psychology. Yeah. Um, a, she has a big interest in it. Yeah. Uh, I think Mr. Producer does, too. <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome Christy. Welcome to the third chair. I'm Peter. Doug is still here. We're so glad about that. And we here we have our special guest, Christy. And Christy, as we mentioned in the introduction, is an artist and an administrator and a previous special ed educator. Mm -hmm. And um, I met you at the Lightspeed Curations show. Uh, how many pieces did you have in that show? Uh, I think it was ended up being 17. 17? Mm -hmm. Now, how much time did it take you to paint all those? Oh, well, <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, no, no, no. A million hours. I don't well, know. well, you do oil, too. Doesn't yes. like that take like a year to dry? <laughs> yeah, it takes a long time. <laughs> there were two that? that were still wet. <laughs> what, did, what did you use? Oil. 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 You know, there's like <laughs> oils and water paint okay. and all these things. And so we're, that's a good place to start. What kinds of mediums do you mm -hmm. use? Oil is my favorite. Watercolor is like second favorite, I would say. So oil and watercolor are my big ones. But I've been learning more gauche. And so that's kind of a... How gauche? <laughs> I know. Yeah. What is gauche? It's a, they say it's a combination of watercolor and acrylic. Um, so it's kind of like watercolor, but more opaque. Um, it's weird to work with, but I'm learning it more. So I'm... I'm enjoying that. Is more. it conceptually diff different, like when you're planning your colors and contrast? Mm -hmm. uh, so do you have to sort of unlearn some rules to mm -hmm. do it? Yes. Oh wow. Yeah. So it can be frustrating sometimes. Sure. Wow. And and is um, the 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 gauche uh, technique and medium something new for you? Is mm -hmm. this recent? Yes. And what prompted gauche? What did prompt that? <laughs> Um, uh, or do you just like to explore? Well, I started seeing it um, online mm -hmm. and wondered, what is that? And bought some and tried it because I wanted to. Nice. So. Nice. <laughs> do, do, do you ever like watch like YouTube videos? Yeah. And, yes. Like, how to go gauche? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I've seen some clips. That's my art education is yeah, watching clips of how others can do it. Um, yeah, I am. Um, it's, it's my a, home repair education. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's been my car repair education <laughs> sometimes. And I was afraid. It was like, okay, I'm going to change the spark plugs. And after I followed the video, it's like, oh, is it going to blow up? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> At least there's not as much pressure when you're painting, but I'm sure it's more difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now I saw something else on your uh, website. Well, there's others, yes. Um, I like to do collage. Collage. Yeah. <laughs> And, um, Another French word. Sounds very French. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I do a lot of sewing, um, a drawing. That uh, so I get into drawing, or I'll do watercolor and then draw on top of that. Whether it's actual drawing of things or like zentangle. That was what a zentangle. Mm -hmm. I mean, what a great Scrabble word. Yeah. Uh, but zentangle. What is zentangle? So it started to be known for kind of like a meditative thing or like a healing art therapy type strategy for people. Mm -hmm. is, I, th I think that's how it is. Is that the Zen part of it? Yes, <laughs> yeah. because it's repetitive and it's patterns over and over and over and it's very detailed. And, um, and then you put them together and it creates, so I, I have one right there. Can oh, I grab? Well, we will uh, we will uh, okay. grab it at the break. Oh, okay. Yeah, that that uh, yeah, I'd love to see the, the Zentigo. I mean, I don't want Peter to fall out of his chair. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, and then yeah, we have a whole we, different show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the third chair gets sued by a co-founder. Uh, so, and so, is it intentionally uh, done like? Like, as a part of art therapy, is that... Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I mean, the, you know, art therapy, like, there's all kinds of scientific mm -hmm. evidence how well that works yeah. for helping people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, I looked uh, on your Instagram, mm -hmm. and you have an Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, you put stuff up. 
And if I understood one of the, the, the pictures I saw there, it looked like you had combined drawing some sort of animal with poetry. And I don't know, was that poetry or oh. words that you wrote? Or was that um, um, someone else's uh, uh, authorship and you were just applying it to the picture? Yeah, no, it's not mine. It's not so yours? I was sharing something that I like that I saw. Mm -hmm. And I'm very new to Instagram, so I just, I did that pretty new. But um, And I may have read it wrong. You yeah, may have and I... Credit. And I did put the artist in the comment, you know, but mm -hmm. I loved it so much. So I shared, because with Facebook, I was so used to see people just share and share and share all the kinds of things mm -hmm. that they like. Now I'm noticing with Instagram, that's not so much, but. Yeah, it's a little, it's, it's different. Yeah. yeah um, and so I know uh, we've talked in pre-production that you also have an interest in writing. Yes. You know, what kinds of things do you like to write? Well, now it's pretty much poetry. Poetry. Yes, and I love I love I love to write poetry. Um, but it does. It's not something like my oil painting where I really work at it and have time that I devote to it, no matter how I'm feeling. It has to hit me. Mm. And so, um, so poetry is probably what I do most often. But I do love to write. I feel like I process my thoughts through writing. Um, if I'm feeling confused about something or not sure, like I I will sit down and write. Um, so, so you want to write an instruction book? <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. I'm going to organize it. You got a book there. More like feel mm -hmm. like when I'm confused about how I'm feeling about something or like a complex experience or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, and then I used to be very into blogging back when I feel like, especially mom blogs were a big thing. Like about yeah. 10, yeah. 15 years ago, I was yeah. one of them. <laughs> Yeah, you're a, a, a mom blogger. Yep. Yeah, now baseball blogging's taken over. <laughs> <laughs> Doug's very involved in baseball blogging. Um, and and I loved English. I want. I almost switched my major in college to English. Um, and I loved writing short stories. I wanted to always write a book, and I kind of did write a book, but I didn't go anywhere with that. I decided not to. And then. Um, then I got into the blog mm -hmm. and did that for a couple of years and really enjoyed it. So I would write a lot of stories on there, plus poetry, and then I started writing some fiction short stories on there. But at first it started as just um, really wanting to be more of a comedy writer and write mm -hmm. funny things. Mm -hmm. um, and it kind of evolved over time. So. You mean like stand-up comedy, like jokes of a stand-up comedy guy would do or well what? no taking a story about my son or my family and um writing it in a really in a way that would make people laugh you know um, trying to really make it turn it into a scene well definitely there's uh, rich material there yes. that we all could probably <laughs> use from our families yeah um yeah the stories of my i have three daughters and they all gave me the puppy dog eyes and just work me. It, it'd make great routine, but you know, it was like, Dad, will you buy me a horse? No. Will you buy me a Barbie laptop? No. Will you take us to Dunkin' Donuts? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was totally helpless, just uh, overtaken by um, uh, the, the puppy dog eyes of my daughters. Uh, and um, do you find that your poetry is more happy or is it darker or is it really just sort of depend on what you're going through it really is usually sad <laughs> sad yeah um or there's a couple that um i how do i describe this it's like a combination of almost the dichotomy of uh, how do i um, oh, is it sort of a yin and yang thing yes, or some yeah. sad with a little bit of happiness? Yes, yes. Yeah, as opposed to a lot of happiness with a little bit of sad? Or, yeah, yeah. Or do you find you do both? Um, mostly on the sad side, but uh, there's some that are a celebration of like my upbringing mm -hmm. or experiences that... Um, are important to me so sure sure yeah not all of them are but it's used there it's usually more on the sad yeah, side yeah I, <laughs> I remember i'd gone through a dark time and i was writing some 
skits for the church play and my oldest daughter looked at it and read it and she came to me and said, Dad, you need to start writing some happier stuff. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they, they, I was his co-writer for the book we wrote and um, yeah, it was, it was dark. <laughs> yeah. So when we come back, Christy's going to answer if she has any poets that influence her. All right. Welcome back, and you got your, what is it, Zentopia? <laughs> Zen, uh, <laughs> Zentangle. Zentangle. Yeah. So is it the cover that's a Zentangle, or is it the material in the binder? The ink. The ink. So, um, and all of, they all look different, because every Hold time... Hold that up for the camera. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and so this... It, is not like any other one that I have, but similar. I mean, but they're mm -hmm. all different. Mm -hmm. And I start with a white piece of paper or watercolor paper, mm -hmm. and I put color down. If I'm doing more of a drawing, I might be more intentional about the color, but um, I put watercolor down, and then after that dries, then I that's me with um, Sharpie ink just all over. Over, wow. Yeah. And so you add, um, now, uh, is it, are the patterns intentionally repeating then? Because mm -hmm. sort of that is the same section, that's the same mm -hmm. section, and that's sort of the same. Yeah. That is wild, uh, but still sort of the same, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then... Would, uh -huh. would the adult comic coloring books, would that be under the same theory? I don't know. Because they kind of have repeating patterns. Uh -huh. and I don't and know. I mean, have you ever done a comic book? No, uh-uh. Well, this is coloring book. Oh, yeah. Thinking. I mean, you color. They, I mean, you see them on sale at Michael's and places like oh, that. Oh, the adult coloring books yes. for yeah. therapy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Yeah. there was a website or on a Facebook page that um, I'm part of, and the admins approve. So if you want to post something and share on there to share your art, and um, they have to approve it or not. And... I wanted them to, like, I tried to submit a bunch of these, and I had them all kind of sitting out in a mm -hmm. bunch of them. And they, at first, denied it because they they were, they were said, is that just a coloring book, or did you oh. really actually create it? And so I, I had to explain. It was a white piece of paper. It's all created by me with watercolor and then the ink on top. And it starts as totally blank, and then they allowed. To, then they said, "Oh, okay." They said, "We'll post it, but you have to explain that in the post that it really you created all of it so that people will believe it." <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I mean, I guess I mean if you're photocopying yeah, a picture, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And then it, it, it's because sometimes you don't. Well, it looks like you follow lines. I can't find my. But I mean, some some are more colored in than others, and. Mm -hmm. Things like that. How long would something like that take? Well, um, let's see. Uh, probably two nights of watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> Any movie in particular uh, that drives you to do that? <laughs> no, no, just, just um, no, not just something to do to pass the time. I'm uh, always doing something. Um, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, it's either drawing or. I'll get paint supplies out and even do that sometimes at night. Um, uh, you do a lot of your sewing yes. when you're watching TV and because then, you can like, I can yep. see a lot of ladies. That, yep. My daughter oh. does a little sewing and crocheting and all that stuff. And yes. She, I would like, probably she doesn't, injure myself so, doing that. She doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't even look down and it's like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, my, yeah. my wife is the same way, and what amazes me is that I look at something like that and I say to myself, how can that be relaxing? I mean, it looks like <laughs> you've got to concentrate and so much get it right. I know, those yeah. lines. Yeah, are, uh, yeah I mean, I, I, mean, I want to put on... I mean, the swirls, I mean, they're really well done. In, but I mean, I want to put on some Pink Floyd yeah, and listen to Dark Side of the Moon when I'm trying to relax, <laughs> and, you know, and, and, and there's my wife doing Sudoku or something, you know, the advanced level. It's like... 
how can that be relaxing? You yeah. Know? Yep. Mm-hmm. And then I got the idea to start to mod podge these on top of blank journals. This is my own, but um, to sell as journals. Oh, nice. Yeah. 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 So I yeah. have a bunch of these at light speed, actually. So I didn't include that in the count of things That's I have there. That's a good thing to put on top of a journal. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then I have some, too, that are like actual pictures, like maybe flowers and mushrooms and not necessarily Zentangle. Mm-hmm. Um, and I have two different sizes of journals, like a smaller one and this size. Mm-hmm. And I have probably, I think, um, at least 10 to 15 on display at light speed for sale. Um, yes. Yeah. Now, could people order that online as well, or do they have to make their way down to Light Speed in Colorado Springs? They could message me, and I could make them one for sure. Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice. Do you take requests as well? Mm-hmm. If someone said, like, I want hockey players with, you know, one guy that's been in a fight and one guy with a black eye, or whatever you could you could put. The guy with a yeah. black yeah. eye was probably in a fight. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, you can have one guy with no teeth and one guy with a black no, that's, eye. That's you know. every hockey player. Yeah, just yeah. about. You know, but the amazing thing is that afterwards, hockey players are known, they just go get a beer together after the after all that. They, really, they don't, you know. You know, I swear I went to a minor league game in San Antonio, and they didn't have as many players, and these two guys got in a fight before they even dropped the puck. Uh-huh. And I swear they must have planned it out so they could, they didn't have to play that night. <laughs> just just sat in the penalty box and got thrown out of the but game. They, they got thrown out of the game. I mean, they didn't even start. They just started popping them. Like, oh my gosh. Yeah, and then their cool. team played shorthanded, both of them. Like, <laughs> no, man, that's tough. Those When you're sh- short of players and you're playing shorthanded, it's totally exhausting. I know. You know like any sport, if you're down players. players. Been too happy with it. <laughs> Yeah, but they weren't as smart. <laughs> Sometimes we get off on weird tangents in the show. Yeah. So, Doug, you, you were going to ask something, and I can't speaking, remember what it was. Speaking of weird tangents, what I was going to ask is, because you do poetry, you do sad poetry. Mm-hmm. Now, there's got to be some authors who oh. led you into this. Yeah. So, who, what authors do you read when you want to be sad or happy? or? Um. Well, for poets, I've... Always my favorites, and then even as a teen, was um, Rilke, like the German poet. I think okay. he's German. Rainer Mar- Maria R- Rilke. I've heard the name, but I, I, I couldn't quote a work. And Yeats, I've always, is it? Yeats I, or Yeats? Yeats. Yeats. Did yeah. I, please don't. I, I, like, I, I don't yeah. saying it wrong. <laughs> I, I say it wrong all the time. Yeah, yeah. I, I was we at, would not get it right either if we could be looking at the word and still. Right. Mess Actually, it up. I visited Yeats's grave oh, wow. in Ireland. Oh wow! When we were there, and then the guide took us. Was it a guided tour? And mm. uh, we were there. We went to his grave, and then we went to a gift shop. And I was looking, and I'm like. Today's Yates' birthday. <laughs> wow. So I visited his grave on his birthday. Uh-huh. Well, was that before or yeah. after you had a pint of Guinness uh, at the local it pub? Was prob- uh-huh. For the day, it was before. <laughs> <laughs> and that didn't even bring a present or anything. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, yeah, so, yeah, a lot of great poets from Ireland. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know. Great I, movies about Ireland. I like The Quiet Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, with John Wayne. Uh, hilarious ending. I encourage people to watch that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about going on the wrong track. <laughs> I like the movie too. Peter, they're not going to become a sponsor just because you said that. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, well, the movie is like... What, 1960s? Probably older than we are. Yeah, mm-hmm. It might yeah. be. But might be 50s. Still owns the rights. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, the, the, they actually showed us because we toured around the whole country, they actually show it. Oh, this is where part of the movie was filmed. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Have, you, have you seen The Quiet Which Man? Which movie? Oh, the, it's called no, the, I the haven't. The Quiet Man with John Wayne. Uh, it, oh. you watch, <laughs> That's yeah. an old, old That, that is yeah. one of the true date movies because it's a lot of chick flick, but there's some great scenes for guys. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's yeah. a little fisticuffs that makes it worthwhile. So that's <laughs> <right>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, John Wayne plays a, a retired boxer. Um, but anyways, yeah. But Okay, now we're going to talk about your passions. Okay. And the first one listed is your son. <laughs> yeah, So tell us course. about your son. 
Or whatever you want to tell us about yeah. yourself. Yeah. Oh, I love him to death. <laughs> of oh, course. Good. Of course. All right. We're, we're off on the right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, a real good start. that's a really good start. So how uh, old is this son? He's 15. 15 years old. So that's interesting. Old. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's an interesting age. It is. Um, so he's starting high school? Yeah, he's a sophomore. Wow. And okay. yeah, it's it, it's um I'm getting caught up on grammar. Him and me is that <laughs> it's just it's just the two of us at, at home. Uh -huh. And um so I am constantly inspired by him as well because he's a really good musician. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh okay. We're talk when we come back we're gonna talk about what instrument he plays. Perfect. Or if he sings, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> or is he a musical <laughs> Yeah, I would love to say more about him. It's just, yes, it's... Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Peter and Doug here from The Third Chair. We're looking for a win-win situation. We want to keep these videos put up on a weekly basis and we want to help you uh, succeed with your business adventure. And we've brought up as a show a lot of important issues that people are interested in and we bought up a lot of local actors and artists and bringing them forward which uh, helps them as well as our audience members in finding some of these things. So there is an email on the screen. Send us a note if you're interested in knowing about some of our sponsorship packages. Welcome back to the third tier. Oh, Peter's still here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I read <laughs> off and we, We're lucky we still have Christy here. Well, we didn't do food this mm -hmm. time, so he's not going to keep going upstairs to uh, get <laughs> yeah, some yeah, uh, chips. Yeah, uh, but he had bags Post uh, uh, mm -hmm. snack. Uh, earlier you discussed uh, your humor. You wrote a blog for a while, mm -hmm. uh, and you did it for a couple years. Mm -hmm. And, um, I mean, what kind of stories would you tell on the blog about the baby crying or when your son was young or yeah um so like taking him to the airport and thinking that i was like the most confident skilled mother in the world to put a stroller on the escalator <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, uh, very uh, 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 <laughs> he was an accomplishment <laughs> he was strapped in and we get to, the, I thought, oh, I'm doing this. And we get to the top and it, the stroller wheel hits that lip and flips him completely over on. So his face is like against the moving oh. escalator. <laughs> and because he's strapped in, I couldn't just get him out. I had to like figure out a way to just push the entire stroller with him in it off. And I was screaming. And then I looked up and the entire food court was right there. <laughs> <laughs> all just so staring at me with their mouths so open. You entertained them for a few yeah. couple of minutes. Yeah, but, so things you know, like that. You know, people pay a lot to go to an amusement park for the same ride. Right. And you did it for a great price. Yeah. Well, if that was You know, I, I've, I've actually, you know, on a, I think it was on a walkway. Mm -hmm. I've hit the end of it with a stroller. Uh -huh. And you know, it was like... <laughs> Yeah, yes. my, my wife I never understand. let me. My wife never let me operate a stroller. Yes, yeah, you weren't qualified, Peter. I wasn't qualified. <laughs> well, you know, at least the bright side. If that was like when he was uh, relatively young in a stroller, that was uh, uh, before the time of a lot of. Uh, video and cameras yeah. you know back 2004 yes, five six yeah i mean it was just starting and it was really lousy and it yep. was, you had a lot of you had to click a lot of buttons to actually activate it uh -huh. um if you remember the early phones when that started recording so you're you know probably a lot was not captured otherwise that could be a a million hit video right. on somebody's yeah. uh, yes. Instagram. Amer America's yeah. funniest would videos. Go crazy. Yes, right. Our America's funniest, but that's that show's still on, I think. It is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, but some of that's yeah. got to be staged. Yeah. I don't think it's all <laughs> random. Yeah. Well, some of it, but I mean, some of the injuries are. Yeah. You wouldn't want to do that on purpose. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. And I do want to say that when I did get him off of there and out of the stroller. He was so happy that I think he thought, oh, 
she, mom's saving me. He just, he was smiling and kissed me all over my cheeks. Like, oh, nice. yay. Oh, yeah, yeah, so he was fine. So there were no injuries. So he wasn't even heroin. scratched. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't scratched or anything. But yeah, it's, it's like he didn't realize that I kind of uh, probably caused that. But then I saved him. So he nice. just... <laughs> well, you, you, oh, you, you look at the pad. person behind you and say, "Look what you did." <laughs> yeah, right. Well, you, you know you're in good shape when when your child says, "Do it again." Yeah, <laughs> let's do it again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My, my daughter used to fall down all the time, and when she was little, so we just say, you know, at first you go, oh, but then we learned to go, "You're okay." And yeah. then she started to say it. She would mm -hmm. fall down and go, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. 20 mm -hmm. feet later, I'm okay. <laughs> <She's> just, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's amazing how kids sort of look at their parents to decide how they are supposed to react. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. so we learned not to panic when she fell down. Like, <laughs> you're, you're not hurt. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're all right. So, so, so have it's you, just a flesh wound. Have you ever tried? To... <laughs> That's one of my favorite movies too. The Monty Python, yeah. the Holy Grail, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I can still bite you. Yeah. <laughs> my my brother-in-law can recite the whole movie. Yeah. <laughs> Makes so, you afraid of rabbits, though. Yes. Yes. But also impressed. I'm impressed by that. Yeah, I never thought a rabbit could do that. Cause <laughs> this is probably a documentary. I swear, yeah. I heard something on the radio recently about a rabbit that was biting people, and it. Oh, anyway. Yeah, I, I view money. Well, I've been kind of nervous about rabbits fighting yeah. people because uh, there's a good possibility that it might be in rabies, and that's, that's well, rabbits them. can definitely carry a variety of infectious diseases. Yeah. That's for sure. Oh yeah, they're just getting us back for eating them. Yeah, yeah. that's all. Yeah, you know, Bugs Bunny will always threaten to make Hassan Pfeffer, which is like rabbit stew. So, uh, or the chef was trying to make that out of Bugs Bunny. Yeah. Hmm. Do you know Bugs Bunny? Yes. Oh, okay. Probably not not personally. <laughs> no. You never met him? <laughs> so so were you ever deciding, hey, should I do stand up comedy or anything like that or just a blog and just yeah. I I would never actually try to do stand up comedy, but I love stand up comedy. I love it. And I do think well, that who that's who's your favorite comedian. You know, so I I I don't really have, I couldn't say that, oh, that one's my favorite comedian. Um, I mean, I could think about it, but <laughs> um, really. Do you enjoy women more than men, uh, stand-up comedians? Not necessarily, but um, I, yeah, no, I love both. I do, and I, I really, as long as, long as they make me laugh. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, do you go to shows now? No, I haven't been to a stand-up show in a long, long time. But mm -hmm. I watch it on Netflix a lot, so... Yeah, there's a lot of choices. Yeah, it's oh, a, a, a go-to. It always helps. I don't... Stand-up, it, it always helps me. I don't know. It's, it's a I've, I've great done stand-up a couple times. Really? Yeah, I have. Oh. I have. Do you want to hear the jokes? Please say no. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> we had a company vote. You can't do any more jokes on the show. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you know, there was a, if your son's interested in comedy, there's a clean comedian, and he's, he's had a couple of Netflix shows, Brian yes, Reagan. Yes, I don't know if you've seen I him. I think I know who you're talking about. I'm bad, but it was good, it was more of a cleaner. Yeah, yeah he's known for not doing. Mm -hmm. but not but family, uh, G family, family, family friendly. Still funny. Family. Yeah, but yep. still funny. I mean, well, in yeah. one of our episodes, too, we had a cowboy comedian on who also... Yeah. Had the ability Hoss. to do either a, uh -huh. no, a family, a uh, either a family Hoss. friendly show or a more adult themed show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, on the cruise ships, when you go on a cruise ship, the comedians, before a certain time, they'll do a G, maybe PG uh -huh. show. And then they'll have one like after 10 o'clock or after 11. <laughs> after and that's advertised. Drinking, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Then, and they'll, they'll say R rated. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. 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 And my brother l loves telling stories, you know, and he's, he's a great storyteller. So I feel like and we just, I feel like it's a big deal for my mom, my brother, and me to laugh and tell stories. And so he's... That's good for families. Yes. Be yeah. around the dinner table telling yeah. stories. He's a master storyteller. I love it. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Now <laughs> the next one got me curious because uh, Peter wrote this psychology. Oh, yeah. 
So what, what do you <laughs> like about that? <laughs> Why is psychology? Yeah, yeah passion? I love psychology. Yeah. So you just <laughs> wrote one word or psychology? Uh-huh. And one word. <laughs> <laughs> Assuming, of course, that I was going to get that section of questions because I knew the background. But uh, go ahead, Doug. This will be more fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I've been waiting to hear about this. Psychology. So what, what do you like about psychology? I just really love trying to understand people. Mm. And so I also really love like social psychology. Um, and so, what, what, brief, briefly, what is social psychology? Social psychology is more about the psychology of groups of people and how the oh, how groups they act are affected. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And or, you know that whole idea of the more people that witness the crime, the less likely it's reported because people assume surely somebody else is reporting it. Mm-hmm. Um, That's true. Yeah. yeah. And so I love learning about why people do the things they do or the different ways people might react to things. Um, so I made, well, in my master's and then my EDS degree, I did school psycho- educational psychology and school psychology. And then I was a school psychologist after being... Uh, that must have run a rough dog because of what, yeah. I mean, with teenagers having to deal with what they have to today. Yeah, and that, it was a while back, and I did that for 11 years and loved it. And um, But I just, I relate psychology to almost everything I do, or at least I, I'm constantly thinking about where that other person is coming from, mm-hmm. Um and, or even in painting sometimes, if I'm hung up maybe on a certain little spot, I might think, well, the psychology, the psychology of the mind's eye will fill that in for them. And it will probably look better to somebody else than, like, <laughs> it makes me feel better. <laughs> and then... You um, have another but, artist who, who actually did that. They mm-hmm. left holes on purpose. And yeah. Left, well, but ju- figure out. Yes. But just for the record, one of the things that drives me crazy is when an artist... You know, what does it mean to you? Like, I'd like to know why you painted it. What does it mean to you? Uh-huh. Well, I'm not going to tell you. What does it mean to you? you know? <laughs> I, I, I feel like that sometimes that's hiding a little Peter bit. Peter will have this debate till midnight. Okay, so we're good going to know. Go break. <laughs> <laughs> save us, Doug. Save us. <laughs> we're on break. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to the third chair. I'm Peter. There is Doug. He has uh, slipped away from the baseball statistic log uh, login for uh, the website, and he's uh, staying here on the show. And we're here with Christy, and uh, we're going to show some work and some uh, uh, photos of uh, Christy, as well as some uh, things that she posted on Instagram that she really liked that she may not have um, done herself, but. Uh, was meaningful for whatever reason. Let's start with this. This is a picture, it looks like, of you gals at Light Speed Curations. Yes. And, and um, that was quite a night. Boy, there's a lot of talented uh, females there. 
Uh, was that the show you said you had 17 mm -hmm. paintings? Yes, 17 there. Mm -hmm. And plus the journals. And the journals. Mm -hmm. And the journals. Wow. I mean, if you're doing oil paintings and, and like, you know, you have to have them ready for like a show in two months, mm -hmm. isn't that like a lot of pressure? <laughs> yes, it can be. It can be, yeah. It can, and some, sometimes it's fun and sometimes you start to feel a little bit of the pressure. I've always been curious, when the oil is drying, um, if someone comes up and wants to play pokey pokey with it, mm -hmm. uh, is it um, Do you have a wedding? ruler on the side? Yeah. <laughs> 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 like Catholic school. Yeah. <laughs> is it enough to like squish oil paint out or? Uh, it depends on how much oil is on there, but usually um, if something just touches it quickly, it's going to be okay. But, mm -hmm. um, and then over time, it really is then fine to touch, but you really don't want to mess, you don't wanna, mess you with, don't it. Do with it. No. Yeah. <laughs> of course, if I see a sign that says, please don't touch the artwork, that's, that's <laughs> I'm already do. thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah the <laughs> psychology. Right? I'm kind of like that too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what is that called in psychology? Uh, rebellion. <laughs> <laughs> ODD, Oppositional uh, Defiant Disorder. Yeah, something like that. And, um, when you, uh, put up, um, Paintings at a cur uh, curation like uh, light speed curations, mm -hmm. they're for sale, mm -hmm. and uh, I assume you um, get to decide the price yourself, mm -hmm. or does the gallery have a, a say in how much something sells for? Nope, I'm able to decide. You're mm -hmm. deciding. They yep. may get a commission or a cut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you know, there's always uh, the uh, person getting a, a cut of the action. Yeah. Here is one that sold yes. Moon Bath. Yes, I love Moon this one. Bath. Was yes. this an oil? Yes, I love and I I do I love this one. Um, so it actually sold before the show started. Oh wow! I know, and I had kind of had um, had it in mind to do this one for this show because it was right around. Um, that time where we had the super moon in August. Mm -hmm. and oh, it, yeah. That yeah, was neat. Because it was the big full moon. It was either Wednesday or Thursday that week, and then this show was Friday, and it was kind of, it was one of those moons that people talk. It was a little bit more of a big deal moon where it was closer to the earth. Um, I didn't list that as one of my passions, but I get into some of this stuff. <laughs> uh, with the, sort of the, the moon and yeah. the planets uh -huh. and that sort of thing. Yep, and yeah. then um, and August was special because it had two full moons in that month. Is um, that a, that's a little unusual, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yep. Usually just one full moon per month? Right. So uh, I... Well, there's usually 13 a year, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you have one a year. Yeah. Don't make me sing it's the dawning of the age of Aquarius. <laughs> <laughs> no, you said it. Uh, here, yeah. no, no jokes and no singing. No singing, yeah, yeah. no singing. And I so, don't know how that, what that has to do with the age of Aquarius. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not even sure I totally know what the song means. But uh, the harmonies and the singing in that is awesome. Mm -hmm. And so if you've sold uh, something that you're going to hang there, do you say sold or... Um, I will take a higher offer. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done that, um, but the person that bought this, they took it right then. Uh, and so, nice. and then I thought, should I try to make another one? Because I love it so much. It's even one that I might want to make someday for my own home. Um, I haven't made it, it again yet. Did you? But did, it has, is it like if you make one and you sell it and you love it mm -hmm. and you try to duplicate it? Does Some, that work out? Sometimes. So it's, a, it's sometimes yes, sometimes no. But you I know remember that, uh, like when I'm write, writing at work and I have this paragraph, I got it all down, uh -huh. and then the internet goes down and it comes up back. And uh -huh. That's my, gone. My paragraph's gone, and I'm like, uh, and I never created as well as I remember the first one. It's yeah. Like, yeah. What, what did I say? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And if it's a really good paragraph, you can copy and paste it into multiple reports. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, but that's a, a you know something that I've, I've I've studied about artists uh, that I've had a fascination with, and it's brought up in the book um, um, Art and Fear. I forget the authors now, but they talk about uh, there's a danger when an artist creates something. Let's say this beautiful moon picture. And it's really liked, and lots of people want it. It's easy to get 
pigeonholed away from other things that are important mm -hmm. because you're now trying to produce things that you know that everyone wants that'll sell. I get that, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, so, and so there's the balance between, mm -hmm. well, yeah, I need to, you know, art supplies are expensive. <laughs> I, want, yes. I want some sales, but I also want to feel free to yep. explore the things. Mm -hmm. So what do we yeah. call that I psychology? That. I don't know. Survival. <laughs> 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 yeah, survival instinct versus the one to have fun. Yeah, I want to have fun for survival. Yeah. yeah um, and then this one is called Fairy Whispers. Oh, I love that one. Uh, fairy. Oh, you know, before we go. <laughs> I think it's uh, funny when you say one of my paintings and I'm like, oh, I love that one. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, you need to be proud of your work. That's yeah, a good yeah. thing, right? It's, you know, it's like when you tell a joke, you, you need to be the first one that laughs. Right. You know, you need to be totally committed to it. Uh, but, um, Actually, they said Peter has to do that because he yeah. he's the only... Yeah, he's yeah. the yeah. only yeah. one you know? to be the first yeah. one because otherwise... If I laugh, laugh, I laugh alone. Um, <laughs> do you do prints of your paintings as well? I would... I want to get into that. That is actually the reason why I discovered Lightspeed was because I had heard that they did prints mm -hmm. so I wanted to go visit there and inquire about that um, and yeah. uh, so I want to um, I haven't yet yeah I, I, I've, I've known a few artists that we've had on the show that they almost don't want to sell their original mm -hmm. you know it's like their there's, baby yeah, some. yeah and it's like yeah, let me uh, give you one of 20 original prints or something yes you know but not uh, the original yep yeah, my, my middle uh, daughter uh, for a while was doing a lot of painting and did courses at Pikes Peak. And uh, it didn't take long before our entire house was filled with her artwork on yeah. the walls. And, you know, I could see that being a little problem over time mm -hmm. if you keep everything. But, uh, and that's mm -hmm. why people don't buy other art because their daughter fills <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. all the walls. I'm like, where am I going to put it? <laughs> well, you know, one of the things that uh, surprises me, I guess not anymore, is just how expensive the supplies are. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and so it's Believe like... me, when the, in, uh, my brother was an art major in college, and my dad said, because I bought these big accounting books, and uh, he's, he paid for them, and he's, next year he goes, shoot, your accounting books are nothing but the art supplies they're going to buy your brother. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, you know, because it does affect, you know, how you price a painting. If a painting takes 30 hours and you spend $100 or more on art supplies, even if you're paying yourself $10 an hour, mm -hmm. that's still a $400 painting. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's uh, out of a lot of people's price range for discretionary income, right. you know, and so... That's yeah, uh, tough. Yeah, yeah, it's tough. I try to be very reasonable with the prices, but... Mm, yeah. yeah. It, it isn't the easiest for artists. Mm -hmm. It's kind yeah. of interesting hearing some people's take Which is, on what's that. Some uh, people say... I just put a high price on and if they don't want to pay it, whatever. Uh -huh. Yeah, then, a little negotiating, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, they, but then they'll sell some. Mm -hmm. you know? Well, there's also that term starving artist. Uh, many artists mm -hmm. I know have a second job. Yeah. <laughs> put it that way. They yeah. love their artwork, but it's like, yep. at least in this market, you know, maybe if you're in New York or L.A., there may be um, uh, bigger markets with people with more free cash to spend. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's like being an actor in L.A., I mean, certain ones will make it and certain ones will not. Mm -hmm. Well, when we come back, we are going to talk about the famous painting, Fairy Whispers. Okay. And to quote Christy, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that when we come right back. <laughs> Peter from Pikes Peak Recovery Coaching, and as you know, I do help uh, people with drug and alcohol uh, recovery uh, issues. I love to help people get better, but I also offer a variety of other services, including regular life coaching services. I've helped uh, several people write and finish a book. I've helped a doctor that was in medical school graduate and then get into a residency. And I also uh, actually have quite a ba background in mathematics, and I do some math tutoring for the GED, as well as the ASVAB for those that are thinking about a career in the military. So uh, my contact information is on the screen. Please send me an email or a text 
and uh, we can talk about uh, some of these services and how I can help. That's uh, Peter Gregg at Pike Speak Recovery Coaching. Well, welcome back to Third Chair. I'm Peter. Doug is here, and our special guest, Christy. Um, to quote you from the last segment about the painting, Fairy Whispers, I love it. <laughs> what do you love about Fairy Whispers? Uh, well, mm. it came out beautiful, I think, <laughs> if I do say yes. so myself. But, um, well, I when I wanted to make this, I wanted to make something that would make you feel like, I bet fairies live in there. Like, very oh. kind of magical, mm. um, mystical, uh I wanted there to be pretty, you know, light and color, um, almost like a dream mm -hmm. world. So did you almost put in like some hobbits or like a no. a centaur or uh, elves? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's that? Elves. <laughs> elves. But they that's the word the I was looking for. You yeah. don't want something that's going to eat the fairies. Yeah. Uh, well, and, and there's nothing literal about. There's no. You won't see a fairy, but I want people to think I. There could be one. There, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. It and looks uh, like the kind of place you would see a fairy. Yes. Now, mm -hmm. this seems like this was painted for more of one of your happy places, mm -hmm. as, as opposed yeah. to, say, the poetry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, do, do you find, uh, I mean, from the artwork I've looked at yours, I'd say uh, the, what I've seen is it's very sort of gives off a, an upbeat, positive mm -hmm. vibe. Yeah. yeah, yeah I not, love to use color. Dark, yeah, bright, cheery, mm -hmm. happy. Um, <laughs> yeah, perhaps uh, uh, magic mushrooms, I don't know. <laughs> 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 I'm not saying that you're taking magic mushrooms. Yeah, they're but, available uh, in Colorado. You just yeah, they're available in Colorado. <laughs> Dig digging certain places up in the mountains. <laughs> so when you do a, a painting like this, do you sketch out like in light lines most of the detail or do you just freehand it it's mostly freehand every once in a while i will kind of grab my you know and make a light line but not often so mm. yeah it's usually like especially for creeks sometimes i will do that a little bit mm. um but yeah not every time was this based on a photo or a hike you took or and something like that? Um, so this one is based on what I asked AI to show me. But if I showed you the same picture that I got from AI, it mm -hmm. would look nothing like this. Oh, so it just served as a prompt. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. I've only done that three times where, because I utilize pictures or photographs a lot. Um, but usually I take things from different pictures and, um, so what I paint isn't always exactly what the, the picture is. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. So it's kind of a starting point. Yeah. And, um, I wanted to do something, like I said, that was kind of this magical mm -hmm. place mm -hmm. and, um, I wasn't seeing anything that was what I was thinking of. So I did tell AI that I wanted to see a magical forest where fairies could live, very colorful. Mm. Um, and it gave me something, and I thought, okay, like that gave me the starting point. But this ended up being nothing like mm. what, if I had that with me and showed you, it wouldn't look like this. I was going to ask if they, <laughs> I gave you a, a picture of the Denver Broncos training <laughs> camp. <laughs> And do not talk about the Broncos. It was a very, 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 very rough weekend. For it was a bad day, yeah. And if we and wrote we, about it... And we don't get, want the Broncos fan just putting bad comments on our show because we insulted them. Yeah. So, um... <laughs> they they you, might insert... After yesterday, they might deserve a little insult. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah what did yeah. they say? <laughs> Broncos? I'm not a Broncos fan. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm totally neutral. I'm a person that says sports You are fan. one smart lady. That's applying psychology. Yeah. Um, so do you do commissions? And by that I mean someone comes to you and said, mm -hmm. Christy, please uh, draw me a magical fairy kingdom. Yeah. These are the ideas. This is how big I want. You, yes. you will take, take an order. Mm -hmm. What's that process like for you? How do people contact you? Um, what kind of discussion goes on? Um, well, message, you know, through social media. Um, what do you prefer? 
Either Instagram or Facebook. Instagram well, or I Facebook. guess Instagram um, it then is easier to access a message that's sent to you. Because if you get a message from someone that you're not kind of mm -hmm. linked with on Facebook, then yeah, yeah. you might not know it's there. Sure, so, sure. Instagram. And then do you, guys, do you just continue to talk on Instagram? Or mm -hmm. do you meet people if the process is going forward and make sure you understand what their vision is? Or yeah. Well, so far, it just so happens that the ones that I've commissioned or done by request have been friends in the city that, you know, can mm -hmm. I can interact with in person. And oh, nice. It. So that yeah. makes it easier. Yeah. yeah. So, so um, how do you want people, uh, Facebook, Instagram, what's your Instagram? Christy Lorenzen. Christy Lorenzen. Okay. <laughs> um, I know I'll have the, the address on the screen. On the screen. Mm -hmm. it, it, we haven't been up there yet, but it will be there right now when we do post productions. <laughs> yeah, we will. Yeah. Well, it will magically appear. Well, producer will yeah, magically. Yes, he uses a little fairy. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and just it, for the record. that fairy just goes in the corner and sleeps and makes me do the work. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't help it. You hired a lazy fairy. <laughs> so, uh, Christy, you've agreed to uh, do one more episode. We're grateful for that. Thank you for coming uh, tonight for this first episode. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon so you know when we put up another episode. And good night from the third chair. Mm -hmm.